Hi, thanks for viewing another 12 p.m. tutorial. This tutorial will teach you how to install and use JAP, the John Doe Anonymous Proxy. The primary purpose of this program is to hide your identity from the websites you visit, your internet service provider, and anyone who is watching your internet connection. JAP does this by using a system of mixes to scramble your information with the information of other JAP users before it reaches the internet. When you turn on the JAP anonymity service and then request information from the internet, your request is encrypted and then filtered through a number of mixes, called a mix cascade, which rearranges the identity of your connection by mixing it with bits and pieces of other users' identities. The final mix in the mix cascade then decrypts your request so that you can view the information you wanted anonymously. Now that you know how it works, let's go get the software. The address for the website is kind of long, so just open up a web browser and go to your favorite search engine. Now type in J-A-P and look for a site called JAP, Anonymity and Privacy. Once you find it, click on the link. On JAP's website, you can read about the software and how it works. Go ahead and explore the website before we move on with the tutorial. Once you're done exploring, take a look at the right hand side of the page. See the link under download that says stable version? Click on that link. Now you have to choose the stable version you want. Since we're using Windows for the tutorial, let's click on the Windows link. Now that you have the option of downloading japsetup.exe or the complete setup program, let's download japsetup which will take a look at your computer and download what you need for the program. Go ahead and click on japsetup.exe and then save it to your computer. After the file has finished downloading, close your browser, go to the folder where it's saved, and double click the japsetup.exe program. Click Run. Here, JAP asks you what you would like to install. JAP uses Java in order to run the anonymizing service, so either check the box for Java 1.3 or get the most up-to-date version of Java from www.java.com. If you have Java, all you need to do is check the box marked JAP and then click Next. Choose where you want the program to install and then click Next. Choose the name of the Start Menu folder and then click Install and wait for the program to finish installing. The speed of the installation process will depend on your internet connection speed because JAP will be downloading necessary components. Once the installation is completed, click Close. Now go to Start, Programs, JAP, and click the JAP program. When you run JAP for the first time, a window will pop up called Installation Assistant. This will walk you through making sure that JAP is working properly on your computer. The first thing it'll ask you to do is choose a language. Go ahead and choose a language from the menu and click Next. Now you get to choose whether you want a simple view for the user interface or the extended view. Let's stick with the simplified view for now and click Next. This page tells you that you need to configure your web browser to connect to the JAP service. I'll walk you through how you do that now. First, open up your web browser. We're going to use Internet Explorer. Now, go to Tools, and then to Internet Options, and then click on the Connections tab. Click the LAN Settings button. Check the box that says Use a proxy server from your LAN, and then enter localhost in the address box and 4001 in the port box, and then click OK. Click OK again, minimize your browser, and go back to the Installation Assistant. Click Next. Now JAP wants to run a test to see if the service is working correctly. Move the Installation Assistant out of the way and turn off the anonymity on the John Doe user interface. Now go back to your browser. Try to visit a different website. I'm going to try www.nytimes.com. If JAP is configured correctly, you should see a warning box alerting you that you are not anonymous. 
When the box pops up, click Yes. If the website shows up with no problem, go back to the Installation Assistant and check the option that says The Warning is Show, and then click Next. Now, Jap wants to switch the anonymity back on and surf the web a bit. If you can access the internet without any difficulty, click the option that says Connection Established, Web Surfing is Fine, and then click Next. Then click Finish. Take a look at the JAP user interface. As you use the internet, it will keep track of your response time, the number of JAP users, and the speed that you're accessing the internet at, and the amount of encrypted data you have transferred. As an added bonus, if you live in an area where the internet isn't censored, you can allow people from areas that censor the internet to use your connection to circumvent that censorship by clicking the box marked Anti-Censorship Service. To turn the JAP service off, simply click Exit. Remember that the browser you configured to work with JAP will not work without the JAP program running. You'll need to delete the LAN setting from earlier in order to use it on its own.